Hello everyone, welcome back to Nelda. Take a look at what I have here. This is a wheat farm that me and Minitix constructed after a little trip doing some caving. And I wanted to show you the first harvest. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how this works. This is very, very simple operation. These redstone lamps can be switched off with a lever in the corner over there. And when they are, all the wheat will pop out of the ground, I think. I've never tried this before. We have lily pads covering all of the water sources around here, so that you can just run around and pick it up. This will give me 20 full stacks of wheat, I think and even more seeds than that because I won't be replanting them on video. It's 36 by 36 because the lighting setup that I worked out that was the most that was the first whole number value. Um, so four of these sort of four wide and uh, nine by nine arms so 36 in total. The next whole number value is 9 of these farms, so 81 by 81, and it goes every 5 farms, it's a whole number value for the lighting. So, But if you change the lighting, then you could do it a different way as well. So, let's see how this works. Minitix helped me dig all of this out, um, and then I just did a little bit, uh, the wiring and the lighting, it's pretty simple. So let's see how this goes. Three, two, one, bam. And of course we have some lag. Lights are switching off, the server is responding. And I've got sunlight messing up my... Let me just place a block there. That's a bit annoying. Bam. I need to do something about that. What's this light here? Where is this light coming from? Oh, it's from the water. Okay, so we got lots. Let's turn the lights back on so no monsters will spawn. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to empty my inventory. And let's see how we go with the wheat. Twenty stacks. Sprint. I'm going to use this design for a carrot and a potato farm as well. Probably just below this. I think I'll just use exactly the same design. I think we're running out of inventory space. No, not quite. Get these last ones here. Bam. Give me wheat. I like wheat. I think we may be full up with seeds very soon. Yep. Getting there. That doesn't matter. As long as I pick them up in five minutes. Full up with seeds. I'm gonna go dump the seeds that I have in the chest over there, just so I don't lose any. That's a lot of wheat. I calculated um, 1,280 total blocks of growing space because it's 36 times 36 minus 16. <coughs> Good thing I ate before this. I'm not running out of hunger yet. Oh, there I am. Just started going down.
Oh yeah. So it should well it's not gonna be twenty stacks of wheat this time because I didn't harvest it absolutely fully grown. But we should be able to get a good amount, that's for sure. Alright. See the seeds. Come on. Okay, so that's 27, 8, 9, 30 stacks, 30 and a half stacks of seeds, and just pop all the wheat in there. <coughs> just about 16 and 3 quarters of a stack. So this is a very nice wheat farm. I didn't let it grow to full completion, as I told you. Um, so if you let it grow all the way, it should give you 20 stacks of wheat, exactly. And I don't know how many seeds it gives you. Lots. <laughs> uh, enough to replant it and then some. So yeah, if you guys want to try this out, um, I will put the design up with this video. I think I'll do a little bit of creative work later on and give you the lighting design because this is pretty simple. It's just 36 by 36 blocks of dirt with one of these four blocks out and then every eight blocks. <coughs> Excuse me. Lily pad on top and then take 16 lily pads per layer. So it's pretty efficient. And the number of redstone lamps is four per row, and there are eight rows, so 32 redstone lamps. And I've got uh, 16 repeaters in total in here, and I don't know how much redstone exactly, but it's a fair amount. You know, it's each one of these rows is pretty much redstone all the way to the end. Uh, but it's not too bad. I've got plenty of redstone, and you will too if you fortune your redstone. So it's quite doable in survival as this has been done in survival and you get loads and loads of wheat or carrots or potatoes now um, this number of dirt blocks took me five hoes to to um, to till so it's a uh, it's a ways Anyway, I'm going to replant this, and I'm not going to show that to you, because that's pretty boring. But um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and yeah, maybe you can use it in your, in your builds, in your world. Well, I promised I would show you the lighting setup, and here it is. As you can see, it's super simple. The only reason I built it in creative is because I wanted to know how these repeaters should be spaced for best efficiency. And I'm not talking about just pure efficiency in terms of the reach, but also in terms of ease of use. You know, I want to put them somewhere where I can easily remember where they need to go. Uh, to be honest, these, you know, I should have made them all in one row, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's basically just power coming from over there just runs all along the wire all along and we know from the mechanics of redstone that when the redstone itself is powered the block underneath it is powered that's why this light is on and that's also why this light is on because I think this is the last redstone that can be powered by that repeater over there uh, but that block is energized which means that block gets soft power and that turns it on. So this is how I did it. You could do it simpler, you could do it uh, more uh, compact, you could, you could um, put the lights together a bit closer together, but um, I always like to work things out and make it the most efficient it can possibly be, even though it doesn't really need to be super efficient. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. Repeaters boost the signal and the redstone powers the lamps. That's all there is to it. Thank you. One thing I did want to mention, and you might be thinking, I'm going to sprint and plant. Well, you can sprint and plant, 
but you can't plant very well if you sprint and plant. Let me show you quickly. And you can also sprint and hoe, but you can't um, till very well while sprinting. You'll miss blocks. So as we can see, I've missed a few there. One, two, three, four. If you can live with that, you can sprint and plant. But me, I'm just going to walk. I have to basically walk every single row at least once. So it's 1,280 blocks to walk. Um, plus 16, so actually it's a bit more. But um, yeah, it's, it takes a bit of time to replant this thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this is useful to you. I'm signing out.